Awesome. But very good guy too. Very good fighter. And him and Vinny were both in the UFC, so they got a lot of guys. Yeah, John, like John Howard, Fitch, too. John, yeah, Fitch, John, John Fitch, Howard, Paul yep. Harris. Yep. And then they also got uh, uh, my boy Jake Shields. Jake Shields He's fighting right. Fitch. He's fighting Fitch. That's yeah. a good fight. Mm. That is the same night as the UFC fight in. Um, I think it's the same night as the UFC fight in New York City. Oh, you fucked up, World Ooh. Series. That's a that's a tough draw. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's or a maybe it's, the kid that maybe night it's too. that we weekend. fucked up too. Everyone fucked up. Yo, wait, <laughs> let's let's get busy with this. What do you think about this, Brendan Schaub? I am very excited about this fight. <clears throat> I think people are fucking sleeping on Eddie Alvarez. I think he's a dangerous, dangerous 155 pounder. That motherfucker can punch. He punches hard. He's fast as fuck. And it, there's not a human alive that's more game than that kid. I agree 100%. That dude, if you've never seen him fight before, you got to watch his fights in Bellator with oh Michael Chandler. God. And Dream. Yep. Watch his fights in Dream, too. And Michael Chandler's another dude who's out there who is yeah. world class that could easily be fighting and winning in the UFC. Oh, yeah. And you see it now with Eddie Alvarez because <laughs> it took a while for Eddie to get comfortable in the UFC. He, he, Donald worked him over in his first fight. because he got dismantled by Donald. And, but now he's training with your boy. He's Henry, with Mark, Mark Henry. Henry. And look, Connor's a goddamn phenom. And he's a, he's got, as Faraz Sahabi <laughs> likes to call it, the touch of death in his hands. It's a scary left. fight, man. Anyone who thinks it's an easy fight or not a big fight for Connor, they just don't know the sport. They're out of their Talking about the mind. underground king. I, I think at 55, and everyone knows I'm the biggest Connor nut rider in the world. At 55, I just don't see a ton of success there. I think Eddie Alvarez, if you look at the top five, we've talked about this before, you look at the top five, it's his easiest matchup, and that's a fucking nightmare for him. Because Eddie yeah. can grapple his ass off. He's been in so many big fights. Yeah. He doesn't get tired. He doesn't <coughs> mind winning by decision either. He doesn't get tired, and he's a bigger grappler. Yes. Those are two. And he can fucking crack. And look at his resume. Yes. And his look striking his is crisp, man. Yeah. He's got crisp striking. He's not an easy guy to hit. You know, you can hit him, and he gets rocked, and he survives. Mm -hmm. If you watch his Chandler fights, Eddie Alvarez got rocked and survived against Chandler and a couple other guys over in Bellator. Well, think about it. How, how's Connor win this fight? You go through it, has to knock him out. He has five rounds to knock him out. You're not winning a decision against Eddie. He could win Grappling. a decision. I don't think so. Why I disagree. Not? Well, why do you... I what I, about the fight with Gilbert Melendez? Uh, Eddie won a decision in the Gilbert Melendez fight. Oh, no, I'm saying Eddie wins by decision. Right, but I don't you think don't Connor. think that Connor could beat him in a similar fight? No. No, mm -hmm. you don't think he has the endurance. The endurance, the takedowns, the grappling, right. with the striking. As the rounds go on, the knockout power goes down. Do you think people sleep on Alvarez's wrestling? Because yes. I think they forget. They forget how good of a wrestler yeah. he is and his endurance. Man. <coughs> yeah, how it's far a did he scary get in fight. Where did he wrestle? He was a high level guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was he yeah. Division he one? one? He was D Division one. Oh yeah, yeah all yeah. American. I'm not sure, but uh, compared to Connor, he's fucking Dan Gable. Yo, this fight, <laughs> this fight is nasty. Right, he, we all know that those guys. I mean, this, we're talking about Jimmy Mano and Ovin St. Prue's about to go sorry, down. Yeah, go no, ahead. but I'm, no, I'm saying this fight's nasty. Just not, not confuse people at home. But I, I agree with you, man. I think people sleep on him. It's I think crazy, until you've man. rolled with like a real Division One wrestler and you realize how fucking strong their wrestling is. All American. Uh, that's high school. <clears throat> National prep. All American. What is um? What is his college wrestling record? He doesn't have one. Does he have no college wrestling. Doesn't say he has college wrestling. Mm. He, he got his wrestling in freaking dream. How about that? Mm, yeah, he probably say? just went right. He, he bypassed that career and went right into MMA. So, so he was American a high level high school, high school wrestler, yeah. which is not as impressive no. as a college wrestler. Not but at all. when you see him wrestle, you know he's got some skills. Does it's he just, like just to stand he, up though? He loves standing. He loves up. to yeah. trade him back. Because Connor just wants to stand up. Obviously, he's too smart. He's been Most in there with likely. some of the best, you know. So Connor's not an easy takedown though. Even no. to high school champion. Chad Mendes begs the differ. Times, are, I mean, as time goes on, he's gonna be harder and harder to get. Get that Chad Mendez fight, though, in Connor's defense, he had a pretty fucked up knee in that fight. He was True. getting he was getting stem cell True, injections but, in his knee. But that's also the only wrestler we've ever seen Connor fight, and he got taken down pretty effortlessly. Yeah, that's you know true. What I'm saying? That's he the did, only that's but, a, that's the only thing we can go off of. You yeah. say I got a bad knee, I get that. It's a tough fight, man. But people who think Connor's gonna walk through this guy is they don't know the sport, man. I saw the fight, and went ah oh, fuck. It's true, but. Also, I could see Connor just Smirking cracking him. him. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's how Connor's too. gonna win. He's gonna if if Connor wins, he's gonna murk him. Connor right? has some vicious fucking power in his hands. Has Eddie been knocked out? Often? Yes, oh, yeah. he's been stopped. Yeah, he, Chandler stopped him. He rear naked choked him and, and beat him for the title. Mm. Has um, he been knocked out? I don't think he's been knocked out. He's been I in do some not wars. So. He's been in some he's been crazy some straight dog wars. fights. Mm. He's just his game as they come. 
I think he's one of those guys that fights at his very best when he's scared. Correct. And I think that's going to be one of the best things about this fight is that he thinks Connor's a dangerous motherfucker, just like mm -hmm. he thought Rafael Dos Anjos. He stopped Dos Anjos in the first round. Yeah. And a lot of people, including me, were making the argument that Dos Anjos, if you look at the guys he's beaten, stopped um, Cowboy in the first round, beat the shit out of Nate Diaz, Pettis. beat Pettis up, stopped uh, Ben Henderson, mm -hmm. crushed him. I mean, you look at all the guys that he's beaten, yeah. there's a real argument that he's one of the best lightweights of all time. Yeah. And then Eddie went and stopped him in the first round. And so. everyone thought he was going to get murdered. Mm -hmm. Like, everyone thought Eddie was just going to get... It was, thought, yeah. so it was a huge. He doesn't mismatch. have the the marquee name recognition type thing. They don't know him yet. It's a dangerous yeah. fight for Connor, man, because he has such a big name. But yeah, you, you, what if if Connor does win? You imagine the mm. fifty five belt holder. It's crazy. And the 40, if he wins, I mean, it's crazy. Two, and, the yeah. 40, and then I think you'll don't forget about Tony in there. Tony. Well, no, we're not forgetting about him for sure. But I think the thing about Eddie Alvarez is that he has the title, and that's why it's sellable. Mm -hmm. If it was just Conor McGregor versus Eddie Alvarez, yeah, and he didn't be. have the title, you can't sell it. It's just that well, because it's, it's in Madison Square million. Garden, though. It's still that a title's so valuable. This oh, is where yeah. you realize how valuable that title 100%. is. Because Tony <clears throat> is right in there, in my opinion. As is Barboza, as is a couple of guys. Habib Nurmagomedov is, of course, everybody's first choice. He's undefeated. Mm -hmm. Nobody's been able to deal with that grappling. He will suplex your face. Off. And he's a nasty fucking striker too. He, he throws give him murderous a shots. Fight. Give him a well, fight. he's fighting. He's fighting Michael Johnson in the new. Oh, in the, that's right. In that car, that's a fucking great fight. Johnson just coming off of the knockout of Poirier. That's a great fight. It's a great fight. Is that on the main card? Yes, it's of the course. best. It, let's be real. Be. Let, we always argue. What's the best UFC fight card? That's the best UFC fight by card of far. all time. Not even close. It's like by far. If it holds up. Yeah, if it holds up. If it holds up. up. Don't What's the lineup? Don't say Can I see it? Yeah, no, don't the lineup. Jinx the lineup it. is right there. fucking <laughs> insane. You have three world title fights. You have Alvarez Holy versus shit. Conor McGregor. You have Tyron Woodley's fighting Wonder Boy. That's a fun Holy fight. Holy shit. People yeah. forget that this is even happening because everybody's talking about other fights. They forget this fight. How about Yoni and Jacek versus Karolina Kevalkovich? Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, Nobody's man. even talking about that. And then you have Chris Wyman versus Yoel motherfucking Romero. Come on. That's nuts. Ah! Then our boy Cowboy. Cowboy yeah. Kelvin. versus Kelvin. That's what about a good Kelvin, fight. son? And look at this. Misha My Tate boy. versus Raquel Pennington. That's ne a fucking never bad mad when fight. Misha fights. Never, never mad. mad. And Raquel Pennington is one of the best Bantamweights in the world. Nobody talks about her because she's she's won some fights in a crazy way, like the Ashley Evans Smith fight. With the she's had some oh, great. No, yeah. But she, look, she yeah. took Holly home to a fucking split decision. God, those girls have lost a lot, though. Look at eight and six. They have brawls, bro. Yeah. These they girls do. go after it. That's and Raquel Pennington, point, though, in, my, in my opinion, is six. super, super aggressive. I like watching her fight, man. I mean, she got beat up in the last fight. She did. God. Amanda Nunes. Yeah. Man and Nunes, no joke. Oh my God, Frankie Edgar versus Jeremy Stevens. <laughs> it's, this card <laughs> fucking ridiculous. I forgot about that. I, I almost forgot about that. That's insane. Nuts. Nurma yeah. Gremetoff and Johnson. It's, Holy shit. It's not even close. There's not even a second place. Oh, and Rashad, Rashad and Kennedy. 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 Oh my God. Two of my favorites. Holy I love shit. Both why, those why did they decide to go gangbusters on this one? Rafael Natal is fighting Tim Bosch. That's a fun fight. That's Natal a fun being, fight. You know, he trains in New York with Henzo. Jim Miller and Tiago Alves. Tiago Alves fighting 155. This Come is his on, first fight huge. at 155. That's a, that's a th I call that the thro throwback Thursday fight. Have you seen what Alves looks like? It's crazy. <laughs> I have not. He's shredding. Way, he's way thinner. He's lighter. You know, you remember when Alves fought Matt Hughes when he didn't make weight? Yeah. And he was a gorilla. G -g 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 gorilla. <laughs> he's a baby gorilla. He was so jacked. It was insane. And then his hair said, see ya. He had he had <laughs> muscles that would start above his ears <laughs> for yeah. and make He looked their like way. a pit bull. Like, yeah. well, excuse me, sir, you're actually turning into a pit bull. <laughs> when he stopped Matt Hughes, he was no, no, you don't fight knee. like a pit bull. You look like he one. looks like one. Yeah. <laughs> he was so big. He was yeah. so powerful. Jacked. Mm -hmm. One of the best bodies was, in MMA. Yeah. Dude, he was the most feared. Look he was the there. Edson Barboza of like 10 years ago. Look at him oh right there. God. Good oh, fucking Oh, he was bigger Lord. than Bo Bo Boza, man. Well, he, he was, was a big fucking He was a beast. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember he fought Martin Kamen? was tooling Martin Kamen until he went for the takedown yeah. out of nowhere. He was winning. He had him hurt. He had him staggered. And someone told him to go for the takedown. Yeah. And someone he got caught in fired. a guillotine. Someone should be fired. First time I seen him fight, it was at a small show in a high school in Chicago, Jason Chambers fought Tiago Alves. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's, that's how that goes for you. Like, oh, he's an American top team guy. And man, he, from that fight, 
it was pretty. It was quite clear that he was going to have a serious career. Was he, was he bodied up like, then? Holy shit! Chago's always bodied up, but not well. Actually, when he fought, fought Spencer Fisher, Spencer Fisher, people don't remember Spencer the King, motherfucking Fisher, caught Old him with school. a triangle. Spencer was a skillful, skillful Savage. fighter, and he caught Tiago with a triangle. But I think Tiago was only like twenty years old at the time. I think he was super, super young. But I think that was Tiago's first fight in the UFC, if I remember right. I thought Tiago was fighting at yeah, 19 or 20, yeah. right? He was so, young. Real young. Mm -hmm. Really young. But so he's he looks real light now, real thin, and he did the, the Cam Haynes thing. <laughs> and Cam, you, how much did you lose when you had to do that Bigfoot 200? You lost like 20 pounds, right? Yeah. You, but you did it. He did it in the most gangster way because at 180, he was, he was not fat. So what he had You're to lean. do is he had to make his body eat itself. You have to burn off 3,000 calories and take in one. Hmm. Or take in Damn, two. You're a bad man. I did. Yeah. I did four and three. Four and three. So there you go. Yeah. 